ruin, ruin, ruin. You will not belong to the noble house. I lived all my years in that ancient, overshadowed manner. You remember our venerable house. I beg you, return home and deliver our family from the ravenous, clutching shadows. The darkest dungeon. So picking up from the last video, I said we were going to go and do the Hag fight, and that hasn't changed. We're going to go do the Hag. So I have Etna here, the Hellion. She has the Focus Ring and Dismas's head equipped. We're going to go with this Bounty Hunter with Surgical Gloves and his helmet because, I don't know, I like the helmet um, when I don't have anything better to put on him. We have our healer with Aria Box and Ancestor Scroll, and we have Pokey Bang Bang with Survival Guide and Steady Bracer. Um, the guide, I don't really like the fact that he loses speed, but... The, the plus 10 to scouting and trap disarm is pretty nice. So as we embark on our mission to go and kill the hag, who by the looks of it is up here, let's have some story time with Beals. You see, the hag currently is in my bad books. I'm not a big fan of the hag right now because, as you all know, I stream Darkest Dungeon on the weekends when I stream. And I have been doing this chat play through for quite a while now. And it's gotten to the point where the amount of playable characters that chat have redeemed, characters that chat themselves have, have aligned as their own avatars. They will create a character and be like, right, I wish to have this class with this name in this color, please. And it's wonderful and everybody loves it and it's, it's, it's excellent. However, one of the greatest glories that I've had the entire time is the knowledge, the, the actual sheer knowledge, I'm not going to get rid of any of these poisons, that no one has died, except for my one shame, Pride Claw. Pride Claw's leper, bring me your physicians, has been for a long time now, the only death in the entirety of our chat Hamlet. And I'm going to num num this food real quick and then dispose of it so that I can take this jade. On his first adventure out, no less, he made the character, and the very first time he ventured out, he died, and it was just awful. I, I underprepared, overestimated. Everything that bad could have happened did happen. However, he was the only one. Notice I said was. Yes, it gets worse, because I have managed to go 108 or 110 weeks, I believe, into this chat playthrough, my wonderful audience. And finally, I went to fight Champion Hag, level 3 Hag, thank you for the dodge. And I brought a Highwayman with me, Beals, God above all, Slayer of Many, my own character, my own self-inserted dude, a Highwayman, a petty thief, a rogue, a shooty, mctooty, stabby dude after my own heart. And I wanted so badly to just go in, kill her, get this done, out of the way, no need for concern anymore, and move on with life. However, I made a grievous error. I made a humongous blunder. A real big ungy bungy dumb stupid. You see, I foolishly believed that the hag was a single space character. I believed that her cauldron and her were only one space in size, and that I would only need characters who could hit the first space and the second space. How wrong I was, and in the realization, upon arriving at the battle, that her cauldron is two spaces and she takes up the other two, because she's a big, thick son of a- Anyway, my fine friends. So the battle began, I had a leper, a crusader, myself, and a healer. And I thought to myself, I am a genius. This team is going to destroy her quick smart. How wrong I was as the battle began and she immediately took my leper and threw him into the pot. Followed very closely by everyone else getting absolutely ruined. Because you see, the leper physically could not attack the hag and do enough damage. My crusader could only attack her if he had the lance, which required him to be in the third or fourth spot. And my poor, poor Beals was the only one with a pistol shot that could reach her. Needless to say, this dungeon did not go well. And as a result of how just catastrophically goddamn terrible this run went, B 
Beals, God above all, slayer of many, died. My second true defeat, my second true character lost. I had to flee the battle, unable to stay and finish off the hag and her, her hideous, awful, monstrous, yucky, ewy face. And so it is today on my YouTube playthrough that I come in here surprised again. Thank no, don't resist, damn it. Surprised again by the the awfulness of of I can't please arg take that and I am going to <laughs> good on you dude I am going to go in here and battle against the hag I am going to slay her I am not going to do that because that will ruin everything I should have shot this one and I am going to get sweet glorious revenge upon all of those hags. Who have ever bothered you, who have ever bothered me, who have ever been an issue, a thorn in my side, a hag in my hide. And I'm going to camp and leave the victory screen open because that's totally something you can do that I never mentioned that is honestly such a, a rare thing for me to do. I'm amazed I got to do it here and show you that the victory screen after a fight, you, you can indeed camp straight after and leave it open and then loot stuff. How cool is that? I'm going to use my Shooter McBang Bang to prevent a nighttime ambush. I'm going to buff up his gunshots because I'm going to need that good range damage. I am going to probably, most definitely, most likely buff up my Hellion's crit chance by 10 more percent. And now there's nothing else I can do. I'm okay with this. The rest ends. I'm going to take a look at this Traveler's Tent. Ah. Ah. There is very... Next to nothing of value there, because we already know the boss fight is in here. We have one fight before the hag. Let us make our way through. Grab this torch. Salvage our sanity. Kill this dog and two skeleton dudes. I swear, dude, you just... Wrong place, wrong time for you guys to show up. I am on a quest of vengeance. And I... Will... Have... My... Revenge. Give me your money. Now, with the team set the way that it is, we venture forward. We march onwards. We head into... After I buff my most valuable members. I'm sorry, Bounty Hunter, but it's just not you right now. We venture onwards into the hag fight. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. True. And here she is, the wizened hag. One of the easiest bosses in the entire game and the bane of my shame. I have a 30% chance that I could stun her with my flashbang, but rather than do that, I am going to start sinking axes, dropping thunderbolts. She's gonna drop my healer into the pot like an absolute asshole. but guess what, hag? I'm going to, this thing has a 7% crit modifier on it already, Iron Swan, damn, absolutely perfect. I could start bleeding her, but instead, we go for the big damage. My Vestal in the pot is suffering damage over time. It it's totally sucks, and she, she hates it and doesn't want to be in there. However, I'm going to let her stay. The real way to do this fight and the strategy should be that you, you smash the pot. The pot normally has a lot of life, but as soon as someone is in the pot, its HP goes down and it only has 14 life, as you can see. I could, theoretically, just smash the pot, well, tip the pot and, and get my Vestal back. But I'm not doing that just yet, for you see, or you see... I'm going to play shooty shooty bang bang and I am going to slay this hag before any more problems can happen. I'm boiling, she says. It's okay, my Vestal. You can smile again. The nightmare is over. We will go eat chips after this. Die, hag. The pot is tipped. The Vestal returns and the mission is complete. I feel empty. Hollow inside. The satisfaction that I hoped for has simply not arrived. I, I strongly believe that once I had slain the hag on the easiest difficulty with characters that are wearing gear that's a little bit too strong for them right now, but nevertheless, I believed that I would feel more fulfilled and I'm not. And in the end, the hag was slain. Many loots were obtained. The garlic was obtained, which is a fantastic thing for me. I'm especially looking forward to putting it on my flagellants. And heirlooms. Look at all those crests. Edna obtains Luminous, which is fantastic. I can't believe how cool this is. 
Healer's Gift, uh, not that great on Poke Bang Bang. And Zoophobia, excellent. And looky here, our next victim straight away, the Siren. Let's go kill the Siren, another boss that's uh, a little bit annoying because she has a mechanic that makes it so that you can't use one of your members, but that's fine. We're going to go in with our Shield Breaker. Yes, I'm going to tempt a Nightmare. I'm hoping it won't happen, but if another Nightmare happens, we'll just have to deal with it. We've got Love It, our Hound Master here. I don't use my Hound Masters nearly enough, even though they are actually quite good. I've got my Steady Bracer and the Survival Guide. The Guide is mostly there purely for the scouting. I don't really care about the trap disarm. Uh, I've got my Vestal with the scroll and Aria box. All my Vestals will have these two with them uh, for a while, I believe, until maybe I get a hero's ring. Then I'll put the ring on instead of the box, maybe. I don't know. And our Grave Robber trap here with the Raider's Talisman. I think this is the first time I get to use the Raider's Talisman. So she loses a bit of max HP, but she gains crit, trap disarm, speed, scout chance. This is a god tier item. Look how good this item is. I've also given her the focus ring for extra accuracy and crit because I want these lunges to just obliterate anything instantaneously. And so here we are going in to take care of the siren. This, ah, oh, look at this map. Okay. At least it's pretty obvious where she is. Let's, let's get going. I have a 60% scout chance and I didn't get a scout on the first, the first room. Come on. How dare you, sir? How dare you indeed? Sax contents, thousand gold. Like to see it. I like to see it, dude. Give me a nice, normal, already starting with the stress attacks, huh? You're just, just going to kick straight off into that, are we? Now, mm, do I stop the stinger? Maybe I stop the stinger from getting a chance to stun my team. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's go after this guy. Lovely crit, lovely attack. Slashing her for the nine, slashing her for the six. Is this revenge? Is that what this is? Is this revenge? Fight this thing. Uh, kill this thing. Maybe I should have thrown... Uh, and, and vaulted her spear through them, but at the same time, I don't want my, uh, my lady here, my grave robber, to end up in the front spot. Good dodge. They are, they are really, really good dodge. Thank you. Amazing dodge. Are you, are you serious right now? Like, for real? You know what? Um, here, have an Adders. Adders is really strong. Excellent. Heal up. Now, hound dude. Bite him. Die. Give me the loot. Out of my face. Open this. Do it. Contents are mine. Of course they are. Gimme. Another shovel. Excellent. The scout! Um... Uh, oh, I'm gonna do it. I wanna go see what's over here. What's over here? Oh, look! A fight with a bunch of dudes! Oh, that's nice. Here, let me... Let me... Yeah! Let me kill you real quick. Um... You know what? Here's an adders for you. Yeah! Get that. Get that blight. You're dead. How about a stun? How about a fat stun for you? What's that? You wanna be able to play the game? No! You're not allowed to play the game. None of you. You're all dead. That's it. She's going to sit here and drink in your face, dude. Vestal. No, that doesn't even matter. He's bleeding. You had a chance to be cool, Vastal. You had a chance to be cool. Get rid of the shovel. Give me the money. Fix that up. Now let's go forward. Get my grave robber ready because she's got 140% chance to disarm this trap. Which is absurd. It's just, it's so much. Ah, oh, brackish tide pool. The Tide Pool is used for healing and getting rid of stress, and I don't really need any of that now. Although, if I could get rid of some of that stress, because she did come in with a little bit. A 16 crit heal and the 5 stress relief. Come down through here. Oh, look, it's a Baal's Relief. A Baal's Relief. Now, I could end up getting something somewhat decent. Now, I don't like to chance the release very often, but let's chance it now. No! And we get Perfectionist. Five stress when an attack misses. That's terrible, dude. I shouldn't have tested it, but I, I wanted to. I did. And of course, I regret. I, I do nothing but regret that. Stun the... Actually, I shouldn't have stunned him. I can just... You, you know what? No. It's fine that I stun him because I plan to kill the stressor in the back before he gets a chance to, to do anything. Um. Yeah, just bite him. Don't miss. I don't want that extra stress, dude. Don't miss. Uh, I think you could do with some blight. There we go. He's dead. You're not quite dead. Nice, nice miss. Idiot. Perish. And now, do this. Get some stress down, because he is actually dead. Crit. No? Okay, fine. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the booty. I need to find a good room to snuff in. I might snuff in this curio room down here. Uh, just to get rid of some torches out of my inventory and get some bonus loot. There's our first hunger check. You hate to see it. 
by the way, fix your party order. Remember what I said before, fix your party order. I keep forgetting to fix my party order. Oh, look, it's a clam. I should have kept that extra shovel. But I should be fine to get through on three shovels to get through here. There's not going to be that many incidents. There we go. Kill the madman straight away. Get rid of the problem. Um, mm, I could add us, but if I do that, then my, uh, my grave robber can't use poison darts. So what I might do is just attack. Who's the most problematic? Are you the most problematic? Die, dude. Ah, here we go. Uh, fat stun. Preemptive stun. Prevent him from doing anything. Bite this dude. Don't, don't. Ah, oh, you had to, didn't you? Of course you have to. I'm gonna attack the grave robber. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the cool one that everyone loves. Yeah, I'm, I'm just un unnecessarily a big meanie dick. Take that. Five. Uh, heal her. I could have made sure he died right there, but I'd rather keep my grave robber extra healthy. And in the process of doing so, I have ensured that my poor shield breaker is getting smashed. Now, snuff, pick, get loot. Ooh, so there's, a, there's a nice bit of looties right here. Look at all these mm, nice rubies and stuff. Ooh, I've got one torch here. I don't care about the one torch. Give me the rubies. Um... I am kind of worried about money, still. Then again, then again, a couple of buffs aren't a bad deal, right? A couple of buffs aren't a bad deal at all. I don't want to, I can't camp yet. I got to wait to camp later. You know what? Give me the busts. Give me the bus. I need some, I need to like, you know, do at least a little bit of the smart thing and get some of everything. Shovel this, get the loot inside. A uh, bunch of crests. Get the torch back up. Move forward. That bleed is... Eh, it's a bit of an annoying bleed, but I don't have any bandages on me. I didn't bring bandages because normally bleeding isn't what I'm worried about in these dungeons. But unfortunately, that stupid octocestrous attack from the big dude actually did land a bleed on me. I'm going to suffer for it now. There we go. Two more busts. Excellent. Another food proc. Really? Really? Are you, are you serious? Hitting me with all of the food stuff. Oh no, look at him. Look at him, quick kill this dude. Ah, he's not dead. Um, what if I do an impale? Impale would kill him and probably, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should do that. Do it, do it. I'd rather, yeah, there we go. I'd rather set this up. Um, and I'd also rather try and make sure you die first. I'll fix my shield breaker up once I know everyone else is taken care of. See, look at that. Excellent. There's the Octo. Nice dodge. Uh, pick. Whoa! That was a powerful pick. Um, I don't want her to kill him just yet. I'm actually stalling so my healer can do a bit of top-up work here. Make up for the last bleed that she suffered. And then kill him. Lovely. We got some blood. Got some crests and blood and, and medicinal herbs. Whole bunch of stuff that's going to go to waste. I don't want the blood just yet. I don't care about anything else. Just give me the crests. I need to do more upgrading. Um, ah, oh, the figurehead. There's no real need to use it yet, but I may as well, I guess, right? Here. Ship's figurehead on my, my grave robber. Yay! She's got extra damage until camp and extra speed. If I was, like, super intelligent and super, like, caring, I would go up, camp here, and then come back to this room to get that buff after the camp. But I don't trust what my food is doing to me. And I just don't want to do all the back and forth, so I'll just waste that buff now. Not really wasted, because I'm still going to be um, making my way up to the boss fight, and I'll end up killing dudes on the way. And that buff helps, but you know what I mean. Wow. Just one hit kills across the board. Look at all this money! Hold up. Hold up. Uh, put that there. Ditch the last torch. Give me, give me the raw gold. The onyx is okay, but I'm going to get more raw gold than I will get more onyxes. I guarantee it. Give me this torch. Salvage the burning torch. Oh no, we can't because, you know what, just use it anyway. And into the next fight. What's in here? Ah, oh, it's a bunch of fish dudes, all surprised. They're happy to see me. Kill that one. Kill that one. Uh, you can stun this one. And then you can bite that one. Yes, the Houndmaster's damage isn't on par with the two in the front. His, do his damage doesn't need to be. He's super support dude. He's here to, to both 
attack from any position, provide stress relief, he can heal himself, he's got a guard that I'm not really worried about just yet, but I'll I'll probably worry about it later on. He's he's a good dude, he's a good man. He's a good man, the Hound Master. Leave him alone. I know what you're thinking. You're all mean to him. Leave him alone. Debuff charm don't care. Uh, reset that and move our way up towards the second to last room because we know for a fact we're going to fight the siren up ahead. Stab this man, make him dead. Hit this man with the adders. He's blittled. You're as good as dead, dude. If I were you, I wouldn't take your turn without considering the the, the negative repercussions. Oh, he did it, dude. He died. Ah! Idiot. Absolute idiot. Four more crests. The money is stacking up, it's adding up, it's turning into good stuff. Um, I might ditch the holy water now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna ditch the holy water for now. I know that it's, it's something I shouldn't do, because I'm probably gonna find something that requires it at some point, but I would rather just make room for more crests at this point. I am being that greedy. Ah, oh, and there's another onyx. Look at it, look at it being mean to me. Nah, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Move on, move on. Keep the torch lit get in here. I actually didn't need to do that because we're going to camp in this room and we know it's empty. There's the boss. Time for camp. Time to hopefully, hopefully. Now this is why I've kept my two dog treats. One dog treats for the siren. The other one is in case I get... She didn't speak. Yes. If she talks after eating food, apparently that's a good sign that you're going to get a nightmare. So the fact that she didn't speak afterwards means we're okay. We're going to use Hound's Watch, prevent ambush in the middle of the night. Also increase our chance to surprise enemies. Not that it matters now, but it's mostly just there for that purpose. Stress is all at zero. No need for gallows humor. No need to worry about any of that stuff. One companion gets bonus accuracy and dodge. I'm thinking as far as bonus accuracy and dodge is concerned, I would really like to give that to my shield breaker. Because everyone else is already kind of dodgy as it is. There's nothing else I can really do. I'm just going to do this. All right, shield breaker is, is buffed up. She's going to be the main offense. She's also low on HP. Why are you already low on HP? Making our way up. Oh, here we go. We've got a little tide pool here. Um, yes, use the tide pool. And it was obviously a tide pool that was going to heal stress. I've got no stress, so it was kind of wasted. I have plenty of shovels and no need to worry about obstacles up ahead. So let's shovel this chest. Gain the goodies. Um, eh, whatever. I'll take a stack of blood. Why not? Get the blood in early. Use her to get rid of this trap. Get that last bit of stress off. Excellent. Am I happy that she's lost four life already? No. Do I care? Not necessarily. Am I going to walk all the way back down here with only four food left? No. So I'm going to just use this food, eat now, ditch the rest. Uh, let's get in here and get rid of this, this annoying siren lady. Are you prepared for NSFW? Uh, 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 look at her. Look at her. Look at the siren. Oh. So the Siren is an interesting fight. She's got a 50% stun resist, which is abysmal. You can best believe that my vessel's first turn, if I get the chance, is going to be trying to stun her. But she does have two actions. She's got a decent pool of life and low resistance to everything else. So the first thing's first. Yeah! That was... Was that the lowest possible lunge you could have done? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You know what? Eat the doggy treat. Start biting. There we go. That's the kind of damage I'm looking for. Song Oops. of Desire. No, she hasn't had a turn yet. She resisted the Song of Desire. Wait, the, the how did does you? Not believe in the power of boobs. This is a great turn of events. What an amazing turn. Hit it with the adders. Hit it with the blittles and try and stun her. The dodge. Oh, that's that's terrible. Devour. She's trying to bleed everyone. What an absolute rude person. Poke. Get back up in the front. Bite. Yeah. And now she's going to do the Song of Desire again. Boops. She's doing it again to the Shield Breaker. What is going for on? the second time in a row. The power of the boobs is nothing in the face of the Shield Breaker's shield. She doesn't care whatsoever. Stun her. It you resisted. can't resist me. She's going to Boops. do the Song of Desire on the vessel, but she How are you resisting me? This doesn't away. make any sense. My self-esteem has like, never been so low in my life. These? And the vessel's all like, no, I am a maiden of the church. I do not take part in the pleasures of the flesh. And so now it's come to this hound master. Fight her. Oh, we've, we've snuffed the torch. <gasps> the shield breaker gets her chance. The adder's kiss. Give her a, a nice goodbye. Gurgle, gurgle. A nice Fish kiss noises. goodbye and she's dead. We get the immunity mask, a warrior's cap, which is meh, but I'll get rid of the doggy treats and I'll take that. Why not? We've finished the dungeon and 
There's like no reason to stay. Let's just get out of here and go back to the hamlet. Yay! There we go. Money, crests and heirlooms. Got the Book of Sanity, which is just a, a slightly worse uh, Aria box, but having another one of these anti-stress items never hurt anyone. And yeah, this was actually stupid, quick and easy. The Siren, I never got a chance to really go over it. The Siren's Song of Desire uh, steals a character over to her side for a little bit and they'll fight for her, which can make it really annoying because the stronger your team, um, the worse it is for you when they start fighting back against you. But hey, uh, apparently my team does not believe in the allure of, of Siren boobs. I'm gonna come into the guild and reduce the cost of skill training, which just Street saves me more money in the long run. Always worth doing. In the blacksmith, do the same thing. Reduce the cost of weapon and armor training. Always a good thing to do so we can save more money. Over here in the abbey, which is my preferred place to get stress relief, I'm gonna upgrade the transept so we have two slots in here so we have better availability to stress relieve, which means if the caretaker or the crier or whatever NPC wants to sit in here, we're not completely kicked out. We've still got another space now. Okay, so the bad news. I've got to deal with the Inquit Flesh and the Sodden Crew at some point, but they're both bosses in the Apprentice levels. Now, most of my adventurers, including all of my Vestals up to this point, are all level 3, which means they can only go into veteran level dungeons. They will no longer go back and do Apprentice, as you can see. Now, I don't have any Vestals left in the Apprentice tier, but the good news is... I finally found one. So let's train her up and get her ready for the boss fight. In a montage. <laughs> Our collection of trinkets grows incredibly powerful. The Ancestor's Candle is fantastic. It is wonderful. I'm so glad I got this, but more importantly, the map. I can't, you can't understate how important the map is. That 25% trap disarm is, yeah, it's okay, but it's, you know, it's basically going to take anyone who's not already a good trapper and make them a good trapper. But look at that scouting chance. This is basically an improvement over the stupid survival guide we've been using. But I mean, you could pair it with the survival guide. Or better yet, you could pair it with something like the Raider's Talisman and get so much scouting chance. I also had no idea you could even get double Shambler in the same dungeon. How in the world does that work? I didn't know you could do that. Just to let you know, I also put the final point in Hero Barracks, so I have a maximum size roster, which is almost full immediately because I just really like plucking new dudes, it seems. But these other two spots, I think I'm going to save for Vestals or more cultists. I'm not sure. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed venturing into the darkness with me once again, my friends. And I will see you all next time. Have a good...